a cold-blooded killer with no moral compass. That's what the judge called Cameron Wright before sentencing him to life in prison for two murders in Grand Rapids. 13 on your side's John Hogan has more now from today's hearing. It was an emotional hearing to be sure. Two murders committed five years apart. The judge called Cameron Wright a cold-blooded killer who deserves to die behind bars. This was a out outrageously egregious situation. In 2013, Wright was involved in a fight at a Grand Rapids social club. It led to gunfire on South Division Avenue near Franklin Street. 20-year-old Andre Davis was not the intended target. He was sitting in a car when he was shot in the head. He was clearly a totally innocent individual. And you, without any thought or ramification, uh, took his life. The sister of Andre Davis described him as a caring, hardworking man with a bright future that was cut short on August 25th, 2013. He was determined to beat the odds of the neighborhood. Andre was a college student who worked hard to be a success story. Had it not been for the capricious and negligent behavior of Mr. Wright, my brother would still be here with us. With Wright that night was a young man named Curtis Swift. Five years after the Davis murder, Swift was prepared to tell police what he knew. He had had enough of the lying and dishonesty and was going to tell the truth about your murdering this, this other man. That did not happen. In January of 2018, Swift was found dead at a home on the city's northwest side. You went into his apartment and shot and killed him. Judge Mark Trusak did not mince words. You have no moral compass and you have no set of values whatsoever. You are clearly a danger to society and you need to be locked up in prison the rest of your life. With that, Trusak handed right to mandatory life terms. There is no chance for parole. Take this man to the prison system. We're done with him. Cameron Wright is no stranger to the state prison system. He was paroled in 2017 after serving time for three felony convictions. In Grand Rapids, John Hogan, 13 on your side.